This is the all new Elementary OS 8 Circe. One of the biggest names in the Linux world has dropped a major release and this is a huge update. Elementary OS has always been considered to be the most polished premium Linux distribution. And this new iteration is a modern evolution of its predecessor. This release blends stunning design changes with some powerful new features. From a completely redesigned dock that's both modern and functional to the new quick settings that streamline control. EOS 8 is a perfect blend of beauty and usability. But that's just the beginning. Elementary OS 8 introduces a secure session mode for tighter app control and privacy, a massively improved app center with full flat hub integration and accessibility upgrades that ensure inclusivity for all users. There's a lot here, so let's jump right in. Alright, the absolutely first thing you notice here is that the dock has been completely redesigned. In all the earlier versions of Elementary OS, we had this unique bookshelf style dock which gave a lot of character to Elementary OS. Elementary OS 8 brings a completely rewritten dock. They have gone with a rounded rectangular container that also has some transparency and blur dynamics going on. When I first saw this, I didn't even know how to feel about it. I mean, I know the old shelf style was kinda outdated, but this new dock looks exactly like every other dock out there. Mac OS, Deepin OS, I like the older one better, I guess. This new dock has also been optimized to be more intuitive with multitasking. A single click on an icon opens the app. If that app is already opened, a single click brings it to the foreground, even if that app is in another workspace. If that has multiple windows open, then a window spread is initiated. Middle clicking on an icon opens a new window of that application if it supports that. And no, you still can't minimize applications directly. If you thought elementary OS looked similar to Mac OS before, you gotta check this out. In place of the old power menu, we now get a quick settings drop down. This is going to make it easier to access some important system controls. And I also feel that this is a better utilization of screen real estate instead of just using it for power controls. Right now, we just get accessibility settings like the screen reader, on-screen keyboard, and rotation lock and dark mode here. You also get font size control and the power menu here. You can hide the screen reader and the on-screen keyboard if you don't use those. I think this quick settings panel is going to get more customizable and powerful in future iterations. Right now, this is a good step forward. There is big news for elementary fans. Elementary OS 8 is bringing some important changes to the App Center. The big headline, we are now getting full flat hub integration out of the box. This is going to dramatically expand the catalog of apps available on Elementary OS. With the last major release, that is Elementary OS 7, they absolutely went off the rails. Firstly, they made Elementary OS flat pack only. But get this, not flat packs from flat hub. They tried to create their own iOS-like app center and it had like total of 20 apps. That was a spectacular crash and burn. But with this update, they have made a huge comeback and they've actually fixed everything. We get flat packs in their full flat up glory here. You can install any app that you want directly. There's a really vast selection of applications in the app center now. Literally every app created for Linux will be available here. Then. Apps specifically designed for Elementary OS now show a made for Elementary OS badge. These apps can be paid apps and Elementary OS provides a nice platform to support the developers. The application pages are also now more colorful with iconography and additional links. These pages have been retouched. Developers can now provide sponsor links for funding platforms like Patreon here. Finally, the operating system updates have been moved from the app center to the system settings. This is huge. Since Elementary OS 8 is a flat pack only system, there is a logical separation between the applications installed here and the system itself. And this new change really makes sense. One huge benefit of this is, you can keep on updating your apps to the latest version, all while keeping this system itself stable and reliable. This is gonna give you the best of both worlds. The new Elementary OS looks different. While with this update, it has kept its identity, it is nonetheless bringing in those visual improvements. As far as I can remember, Elementary never actually used transparency or blur effects. That was not even part of the design language here. But in this iteration, 
we see some blur and transparency dynamics going on. Firstly, this dock. The multitasking view gets a shiny makeover as well. This glossy border or the background looks fantastic here. Now again, I really like the old design with solid colors as well, but this feels modern. By the way, you can now switch between workspaces by scrolling on the top panel. If you ask me, this is a weird element to scroll to switch workspaces. On most systems, it's generally the dock or the bottom panel. But then, we are talking about elementary OS, which has its close button on one side, the maximize window button on the other side, and doesn't let you minimize windows. So this mechanism kind of fits in here. I wonder what they'll come up with next. Move the file manager inside the web browser? Nah, they love the file manager. The web browser though, not so much. I mean, this is so bad, it makes the old Internet Explorer look good. Elementary OS 8 is introducing a new secure session mode. Elementary OS developers are basically bringing Wayland to OS 8. But instead of just calling it Wayland, they have chosen to call it the secure session. They don't want to use technical terms and confuse the users. But this is not just Wayland, there is more here. If you choose to use this secure session, the system will enforce stricter app permissions and it will require explicit permissions when an app wants to access system features like screenshots, screen recording and listening to keyboard input. This approach is similar to what we see in our Android phones. But elementary OS 8 still uses the X11 session by default and you can choose between X11 and Wayland during login. By the way, if you haven't already, check out my course Linux Mastery Express. I've designed this course to level up your Linux skills very quickly. With this course, you'll get so comfortable using the terminal commands that your friends will think you're a Linux wizard. You'll get perfect with the most used, most useful commands and also learn advanced things like using the vEditor and shell scripting as well. Linux Mastery Express, link in the description, do check it out. Accessibility gets a massive overhaul in elementary OS 8. You know it's one thing to make a beautiful OS, but making it accessible to everyone, that's very important too. This time we get some big updates in this department. The keyboard navigation system has been completely rewritten and the screen reader here has become more prominent and more powerful as well. It even supports Alt plus tab window switching now. A screen reader is a seemingly simple feature but it requires very complex implementation. But this is a very important quality of life improvement for visually impaired users. Then they have introduced an intelligent text scaling system that maintains UI consistency while allowing for variable text sizes. One thing that many of you are going to absolutely love is that elementary OS brings mixed DPI support which dynamically adjusts the interface across different display resolutions. You know those headaches that you get when you are connecting your 4K laptop to that old 1080p monitor and everything just goes wonky? Yeah, those headaches are gone now. Elementary OS 8 announces the screen reader shortcut when you are installing it to ensure that users with visual impairment can better set up and start using elementary OS from the very beginning itself. There you go. Elementary OS is becoming a more inclusive computing environment and I think that this is a phenomenal step by the developers. Pressing the Windows or the Super button on pretty much all the operating systems in the world brings up the application menu. That's a universal law and messing with it is an infernal sin. You burn in hell for that. I think there might be something wrong with elementary OS developers because on elementary OS, pressing the Windows or the Super button did something else. I don't know why. Are they doing things differently just for the sake of doing things differently? And at times, elementary OS feels really off. It looks great, it works phenomenally and it's just an enjoyable operating system to use. But there are certain things that the developers have done that make it more challenging, like the window controls and this menu. But we are getting a Christmas miracle this time around and guess what? Pressing the windows or the super button brings up the menu. Christmas miracle indeed. Elementary OS 8 brings a big change to something that you interact with literally thousands of times daily. The cursors. The team has completely reimagined these pointers from the ground up. These new pointers have beautifully rounded corners. At the same time, they maintain that precision and they also made them more colorful. The waiting one looks really engaging. I myself don't like rounded corner ones like those found in the older KD plasmas. But this one hits that sweet balance between precision and softness. 
and the cursors also fit in nicely here with the whole elementary OS ambiance. Great job. Elementary OS 8 is based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. This new base brings in some huge updates to the core of the elementary OS experience. Elementary OS 8 comes with Linux kernel 6.8, which provides improved hardware support and performance enhancements. Another huge improvement that comes from the Ubuntu base is that this system now uses Pipewire as the default media server. This significantly improves the audio quality and latency. While we all know that Pipewire is very beneficial for audio production tasks and people who work with audio, it also absolutely fits in with Elementary OS 8 because Pipewire works really well with sandboxed Flatpak apps. And Flatpak apps are all we get with Elementary OS. But that's not all. There's also a huge list of upstream updates that pour into the newest Elementary OS. Intel GPUs get improved drivers and deliver better performance and better battery life as well. AMD and Nvidia hardware get many stability and compatibility improvements. You can also expect boosted read and write speeds from Linux file systems like ext4. The newer Linux kernel that we get here from Ubuntu also brings in huge performance gains. There are memory and CPU enhancements, Rust updates that improve the kernel security. You'll also get faster networking speeds thanks to overhauled data structures. Overall, Elementary OS is built on top of a solid and optimized Ubuntu that's going to provide a stable and smooth computing experience throughout. Elementary OS 8 is a particularly huge release. In the last few years, Elementary OS has gone through many troubles and has faced flak from the community as well. But with this release, Elementary OS has played on its strengths and has come back stronger. Firstly, Elementary OS has continued on its biggest strength and that is its aesthetic appeal and is more polished, more elegant than before. Side by side, I do prefer the older dock and older aesthetics, but I seem to be alone with this opinion. Everybody else is singing high praises of the new look. Next up, Elementary OS has perfected that stable base with the latest software experience combo with the new Ubuntu base and full-fledged Flathub integration in its app center. With this release, Elementary OS has completed its evolution. Finally, Elementary OS has utilized the biggest resource available to it. The development team has shown phenomenal engagement with the community and has crowdsourced ideas for improvement and it has actually listened to what people are saying and improved on it. Now many open source projects fail here. They fail to listen. But the ones that actually listen are setting up themselves for success and Elementary OS has proved it once again. Yes sir, this Elementary OS is better than before. But some of its gripes still linger around. For example, Elementary OS still does not support in-place upgrades. People using older versions of Elementary OS, that is OS 7, need to perform a clean installation to jump up to version 8 and still no minimize button. They had an opportunity here, just saying. At least they could let you minimize applications by clicking on the running app icon in the dock, but instead they have chosen to make the app window shake vigorously when you do that. So yeah. It's the same old Elementary OS we have come to love. I admit, I have criticized Elementary OS heavily on some of the choices they have made in the last few years. I'm not gonna deny that. But I am happy to see Elementary OS come out strong with this release. I actually enjoyed using it. It has stayed true to what the Elementary OS experience is, all while bringing in those improvements and polishing touches. Whatever it may be, the Linux community is the winner here and the developers definitely deserve huge props for the amazing and hard work they have done with Elementary OS 8. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also give me a big thumbs up. And if you are interested in learning up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux Laker Pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Also, don't forget to check out the top 10 insanely cool Linux terminal apps that you should be using. I've got some really cool ones there, definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is Linux Techs, signing out.